Welcome back to Snorter, guys, and in this video, we are going to be having a look at a mod that is not yet released as of recording this video. However, once this mod is released, I will, of course, update the video description with a link to where you guys can get your hands on the mod. Now, this is B Gamer's Insanity Crawler 2.0. Obviously, it is heavily based on a Bronco, but it's sort of his own creation uh, thereof. Now, uh, B Gamer is known for his mud trucks. However, this, like I said before, is a crawler, so it's going to be really interesting to see how his vehicle building and tuning skills translate from mud trucks to crawlers. So let's go ahead and pick it up and see what this thing is all about and see what we can do in terms of customization. Now, I do really like how it presents itself right there, like right off the bat. You've got this like crazy huge front axle. You got the truss going over the top of it. You got the winch bumper. You got the light bar. You got the intake sticking right out the top of the hood. It looks really, really good actually. And I love the green accents. Now let's see. Engine, just one. 556 Ford. Gearbox, you got one. Suspension, you got one. And then you have a few different tire options. You have Super Swampers, you have Stickies, and you have 47-inch mud tires. So if you wanted to use this as a mud truck, you very well could. Uh, however, I think we're probably going to use... I'm actually kind of debating upon... I'll probably use the Swampers first because they're sort of a multi-purpose, like, crawling and trailing. And then you have the 47-inch Stickies, which those, I assume, if you were going, like, dedicated rock crawling, maybe you would definitely use those. So we'll stick with the Swampers first. You've got the just single winch option, and you've got a bed cap that you can use. I'm not going to use it right off the bat, but it's really cool to know that it's there. Good to go and ready. I mean, look at those... Look at those shocks. That is wild absolutely wild and the detail and everything is absolutely insane so let's fire it up see what it sounds like and let's like take it for a drive holy crap oh my god <laughs> it's loud it's really 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 loud really loud now, even though we have the crawler tires on it right now, one of the beauties of Dev Tools is that we can just go in and swap them out for the mud tires. And seeing as we have a mud test right outside the garage, let's see what it can do in the mud. Three, two, one, go! Wow, in the first mud hole, it just tears right through it. Absolutely just tears right through it. On to the second one now. Still going. This is still in high, by the way, which is absolutely nuts. Oh, there we go. Okay. The second mud hole was right about where it was like, eh, I'm not feeling that anymore, but it stayed in high range for a good long time. All right, let's go back to the Swampers, sort of the, uh, the crawling slash trailing setup, and let's see how it does down the obstacle course. Now, right off the bat, let's get it over the logs, and already I can tell you, this thing would be a blast at truck night. Now, I was originally considering testing it at truck night. However, I decided to test it here for multiple reasons. One, because this map has a huge variety of different obstacle types. I mean, you literally have mud and rock crawling right out of the gate, literally right after you leave the garage. And secondly, this map is also available on consoles. And so I think that this map um, has been used by a lot of people and it'll serve as a good reference point for those that really want to see what this thing can do. Now, God, it scrambles over the logs, no problem. I love this gearbox tuning as well. The gearbox tuning is wonderful. Absolutely incredible gearbox tuning. Let's make our way up onto this next stack of lumber. Now, this stack of lumber, yet again, you guys know that first approach is a little weird, so I always have to approach it a little slower, but let's see if it'll get a decent little jump. Okay, it didn't go very far, but it went far enough that it didn't end up with any damage, which is actually really good. Let's go. Not bad. High range is pretty good, actually. High range is about probably the top of third, I would say. Now, these logs, I would probably suggest not using high gear here, but I really want to try it and see. Okay, so you can do a little bit of it, but you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful, because that can happen see if I can modulate it and make it through the rest of it in high. No, nope, not quite. I'm sure it can be done, but you would really have to get your throttle modulation points down pat before you actually got a good run at it. Now, this section it should do really well in because of the wheelbase. Let's get up and over. Come on. Not bad. Not bad. Easy 
go. There we go. This thing rips. All right, let's get it up the hill. Whoa, all right. Big bounce there. Was not expecting that. And that really did cause our... Yeah, that caused us to kind of stall out a little bit. There was a lot of resistance on the axles when we came back down. Now, going down this hill, it's very easy to flip over forward because obviously when the rear axle hits and it kicks the back end up in the air, you're already facing downhill, and so gravity is going to take you the direction you're already going. Make your way through this rock section here. These tires have great grip. Absolutely awesome grip. Will it go into fourth? Yes, it will. Not much of a big jump, but honestly, even these trail tires have a good amount of grip in fairly shallow mud. I mean, I'm impressed with the Swampers. They do a great job. All right. Now, the rest of the course, the rest of the course is good, but I think we definitely need to test some of our other, some of the other areas on this map. So let's go ahead and actually recover now, and we'll go ahead and leave the garage again. Now we'll head for the racetrack and see if it's fast enough to handle some of those jumps. Now, I don't know if it's going to be fast enough to handle the jumps or not, but we've always got to try. We've always got to find out. There we go. Oh, make the turn. All right, if it'll stay in fourth gear, we might be able to do it. That's fourth gear. That's as fast as it can go. Fourth gear, full throttle. No! No! It was right there. It was right at the edge. It was literally right at the edge of the actual landing point. I, that's a little upsetting. Not gonna lie, that's a little upsetting. I'm, I'm kinda, I'm kinda sad about that because at the end of the day, like I genuinely thought that it was gonna make it. I thought it was gonna be close, but I really did think it was gonna make it. And that was, that was really sad. I'm like, really dude? Now let's take it down to the rock section and let's just the flex a little bit. The handling also, the handling is really good. I, I'm impressed by the handling. The nice thing about high range in this rig is the fact that it's super well balanced. I mean, look at that. It's not too fast, but it's not too slow either. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the rocks in this area are not, you know, like the angles are not big enough to really test the flex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crawl up the edge here. See what it can, oh boy. Oh, wow create our own like slightly harder line here dude a little bit more power a little bit more power come on it can make it up this without a winch i know it can just gotta find the right line that it likes there it is there it wow that's nuts that's amazing that is absolutely amazing. I cannot get over how good that just did. Wow. All right, we're going to go back down that same way and see what the angles are like going down. Because that'll give us a pretty good idea of what this thing would be like on a proper, like, crawling map. So let's drop off that edge. Easy. Look at that flex, by the way. Look at that suspension drop. That is an insane amount of drop. Look at that. And the nice thing about it is that you can hold it right here on the brakes. It has good enough brakes and good enough grip to hold itself in situations like that. Approach and departure angle are, like, they're great. I mean, I know I grabbed, you know, the edge of the cage where the light bar sits, but, again, I'm not really too worried about that. I think at the end of the day, it's one of those things where it's going to happen occasionally, but it doesn't really cause you any damage, so you're not really even going to have to worry about it, I don't think my way up there we go god it's such a whoa come on stay flat out there we go thank you and that's the other thing is that you can stay flat out and high and again it's just fast enough to scramble through obstacles but it's not so fast that it starts throwing the rig around and the grip is super well tuned as well like you feel like you're driving a genuine rock crawler i cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this once he releases it up and over. I think the only thing that maybe I would that, that maybe I would want out of it is maybe an extra gear in automatic mode, maybe. But at the same time, that's like just a personal want, you know? Like that's not something it needs. 
by any means. It does not need a fifth gear in automatic mode. I would love for it to have a fifth gear, but it does not by any means need a fifth gear. I'm going to put it in high for this section. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. The back end got kicked up into the air a lot. Up and over. Oh, it was able to make itself pick back up again. Impressive. Impressive. Oh, no. Oh, that was just... That was just it. Come on. There you go. There you go. Not bad. God, look at it, though. I cannot think of really any other rig that we've tested recently that, like, I mean, it's just got such an imposing presence. It's like, you know, when this thing comes off the trailer, you know it means business, and you know it's here to literally go down whatever trail you put in front of it and come out on the other side virtually unscathed. I have an idea as well. I have a test in mind. I don't know if it'll actually do it or not, but I'm curious. So these rocks on the sides, I know they're pretty much just to keep you, like, on the course, and they're not there for you to crawl on, but, I mean, tra like, trail limits are meant to be broken, right? Sure. Looking for a good spot to try this. I know back here is in the shade, which is kind of annoying, but, oh no, get your axle out of the rock, no rock glitchy for you. She ain't going up that. There's no way. Let's try it one more time. Oh my god! What? It just used the distribution rock to its advantage. Okay, I'm saving myself with the winch just a tiny bit. Because I wanted to get myself into position. But, uh, look where we are. That's insane! Look where we are! It just, like, inched itself forward yet again. What? Alright, tiny little winch bolts. I feel like anybody would have to pull the winch right there. What the heck? Look where we are! This thing is silly! In all, like, in all aspects and regards, this thing is absolutely freaking silly. You're not supposed to park up here, but you know what? I, we did it anyway, obviously. Now, in the future, I definitely plan on taking this thing to Truck Night and also comparing it to some other vehicles. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know if you enjoyed this rig and let me know if you plan on giving it a try. Um, obviously, like, once it's live. And if you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave any other thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.